Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. As you have noticed, <laughs> Jessie Lou is here with me and the most incredible part is that we're actually recording from her camera in her room <laughs> yes. with her lighting. So if it looks much better, that's why. <laughs> I wish I had I love the way that your videos look. <laughs> her setup is just like super professional. So we're doing everything from her place. This is incredible, like what an honor. That's why it looks different maybe one day I'm gonna get to this level of having all these fancy yes, things yes you're gonna yeah. do it <laughs> enjoy these because the next ones are not that nice but it's okay I, I know you guys still like my videos <laughs> I like your videos thank you I think they're really good thank you thank you thank you so yeah super exciting so welcome make sure to subscribe to this channel like this video and also Keep ask questions up. if you want to ask any questions I always like to say answer to yes. every questions that you guys put on YouTube and also of course I'm sure you already do but if you don't make sure to subscribe to Luz channel because it's an incredible she's amazing I really admire her as a youtuber so as a person as a friend as Thank everything you. so make sure to subscribe to her channel in today's video is super nice and special because it's a Chanel for beginners I think this is great even for you if you're not a beginner and you wanted to like maybe restart your collection or everything of what you have is actually for you so I think this is a very special video not only if you are a beginner but also if you're trying to have a different perspective on yes. how to choose your bags so one thing that is very special is because we were just talking about before we started the video Lou has been so smart on her collection she has been very selective in everything that you have and you have a beautiful amazing collection for us it's very important to hear from you your perspective on how to choose your bag okay because you've done so amazing so you're too sweet yeah for real. For real. you're too sweet with me so let's start with the topics yeah i guess and cover them and i hope that this video is helpful for anyone that is actually looking for advice or is trying to start their chanel collection yes. that as i said it's always a good time because they're great investment bags and you're always gonna get your money back if you go for the right colors leathers and seasons yes. so yeah let's get into this okay awesome so the first topic that i have here is something obvious is to consider mm -hmm. your budget do you agree with me yes definitely never never ever go over your budget and it's important to not just get overwhelmed and do more than you can i am very very scared of credit cards if i ever have something in monthly no interest next day i'm paying it because i'm i just don't like owing money so i would say that you should budget yourself in a way that you know when you can get the bag and not put anything on risk. So don't take money out of rent, food or anything that Agreed. is like a basic for yes. you just for a bag because at the end of the day it's material stuff and it's luxury it's not worth it yeah it's really not worth it i agree with you that's very smart it's luxury it's supposed to be something to add on you should never take some essential yeah. money to go into luxury that makes no sense and why would someone ever do that exactly all right so the next thing that i noted here and you can say if you agree or not is okay. just go choose a size do you want a larger bag or a smaller bag i agree but i also think that uh -huh. there's a point in having variety in your collection so I think that, for example, the Jumbo has a very different use than a medium classic flap. But definitely I think that choosing between the smaller and the medium is very important because even if they have a very similar size, how much they fit is quite different and the strap drop has a little bit of a difference. Yes. So definitely researching and possibly trying them on would be the best for you to know which one you like more and then stay for that because there, there's a price difference between them. Yeah, and I think you're mentioning about classic flex, but I, when I was saying size, oh, I mean overall. like every Chanel. Yeah. Maybe you want a tote or maybe you want a, a bucket bag or something. I think knowing the size you want to go for, then you can shrink your options with the size. If you want a larger bag, then you can shrink to a jumbo or a Delphi or you want a small bag, then you can shrink to a medium, a small. Does that make sense? This also even applies to styles of bags. Like you yes. don't like bucket bags, then okay. Exactly. You like flaps, you like crossbody, yes. you like totes. Yeah, good. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I think choosing a size is something that I think I would go for, but you know, you know, you wouldn't go for a size, choosing the size, shrinking to a size, like limiting to size options. I mean, I'm someone that likes different sizes and different styles of bags, but there's a lot of people the like you. Yeah. You only like small bags. Yes. So you know what you like. Yeah. I know that I like a lot okay. of sizes. Okay. So it's a little bit different, okay. but if you're the type of person that you know, that a certain size of bags is good for you, then stick with that and stay for that type of bag. Yes. Okay, the next thing, Chanel for beginner, how you could choose your bag, besides looking at your budget, looking for the size that you want, it would be how to find your style. You already covered that on the last topic. Yeah, but it's yes. a very broad yes. topic. Like, you know, if you are very casual, 
if you are very formal because these bags have different vibes to it and you can definitely know that something is gonna work out for you depending on how you dress or the type of lifestyle that you have for example I know that a very very dressy bag would not fit into my lifestyle that yes. much so I don't really have that many dressy bags yes but if you do you get a dressy bag yes so the third option would be choose your style and that also includes do you want a 19 bag? Do you want a classic yeah. flat? Do you like totes? Do you like cross bodies? Do you like shoulder bags? I think that's when you filter, okay, what exactly am I looking for? Am I looking yeah. for something that is just a tote and fits my computer and fits everything? That's for the first bag, of course. Once you start getting to the second, the third, you have more options. Just what is your first need? What is the one first need that you have? I think considering the style is very important. I think that for your first bag, I would go for something that you can wear on a daily basis go instead of special occasion. I agree. Because you wanna really enjoy the bag. So if you're someone that has a very, like, example, I'm gonna put myself as an example. If I were to choose my first Chanel bag, I know that something that I'm gonna use the most right now, it would be a classic flap because it fits my wardrobe better. It's just what I use the most. So if I knew that I was gonna use the most a classic flap, I would definitely save for that first and then venture into other styles and not only save the first bag for a special occasion because then you can get a little bit scared of using them if you don't get used to owning the bag. So definitely I would go for something that's for your daily basis I agree. and not special occasion or work. Good topic is because most of people when they get at the first luxury bag they go for something Oh my gosh, this is my special occasion bag yeah. and you end up never using and then you end up not having a great bag for every day So I agree with Lo, I think you should go for something you're gonna wear often And don't be afraid to wear your bag, you paid a lot of money to wear it Exactly, that's why I always say, like I have a lot of people telling me Hey, I bought this bag but I, I don't want to use it because I'm scared of it And I'm like, you spend so much money yes, on it, you yes, work for that money yes. Use it and enjoy it, these bags. I think we put them very often on a pedestal. Great. And we don't understand that these bags are for us and we're not there for them. I agree. So the bag has to work for you and you wear it and if it gets a scratch, it's fine. It's a bag! It's not gonna get ruined. So a scratch, a stain, a color transfer, that's not gonna ruin the bag. So make sure that you enjoy what you buy. Manage your expectations. Yes. Something else that I noticed here, and that's where Lou and I disagree a lot, is choosing the material. Yes. Let's say we're going for a classic flat. Lou will always go for a lambskin. Yeah. And I would always go for a caviar. As a matter of fact, though, my micro bags are lambskin. So I would not always. And you have some caviar. But yeah. I would preferably go for caviar just because it's more durable. And Lou on the other side. I mean, my thought process behind preferring lambskin over caviar is I'm spending a lot of money on the bag. I'm going to be 100% happy and I go a little bit more with my heart than my brain like it's not the smartest yeah. way to go yeah, no, no, no. but it's what fills yeah. my heart and what makes me happier so i am not going to compromise something that i really want just because i'm scared of it so if i were to go with caviar i would love the bag and this is something that happened to me with my black classic flop so my first chanel bag was caviar and i actually always wanted lambskin so every time that i used the bag i was like oh i love this bag kind of wish it was lambskin but this is the smartest way to go so i stick to that for years until i realized you know what Every time that I see a black lambskin classic flap, my heart goes to it, so I'm just gonna go with it. And since then, I try to stick with lambskin and it's what makes me happy. Yes. So yeah, if I'm gonna spend this amount of money, I'm just gonna go with exactly what yes. I want. Even if I know that it's gonna get wear on tear and it's gonna scratch and it's more delicate, but I'm willing to compromise there. I'm willing to go the extra step to take care of to the bag. What you love. Because I love it, yes. but if you love the way that caviar looks, it's definitely a smartest purchase. Yeah. At first I like lambskin better, but I kind of got the passion for caviar. I like caviar. Yeah, I guess. The next one is what kind of color of hardware would you choose? That's what something that you mm -hmm. have to decide because you can either get a black with silver, yeah. a black with gold. So what kind of hardware color you would choose? And I think we will agree with that. We both like a lot of gold. Or like, like gold. I had a phase where I liked silver a little bit more because I had this idea. People would tell me a lot that gold hardware on a black classic flap was too formal which I disagree with now. And I wanted to make sure that I would use my bags on a casual setting. I'm very casual. So I wanted to have a very casual bag. So my jumbo is actually silver hardware yes. and I think that it works really well. But I love gold hardware a little bit more. Like all my jewelry is gold. I believe on mixing. Like if you yes. wear silver or For gold, sure. you can definitely mix. Yeah, so I agree. But just what complements you the most and what you like the most. 
and I also definitely think that it has to do with the color so I would not get a great classic flap with gold hardware because I like better how it looks with silver okay. I like Some the gold sample. actually yeah yeah I like better with silver I just think that it depends on the color yes, of the bag yes but if I were to do, choose just one I would probably go more towards gold hardware Definitely. A pro tip about hardware is, is the silver is always the most durable one. Why? Yes. Because the inside of the hardware is always silver and they just cover it with gold or rose gold or even black. So for an example, the gold as the bag ages, it's not like the vintage that it's gonna always stay gold, it's going to fade away. So the, yeah. the pro tip is if you want something that is really durable, goes with the silver. Also, if you want a little bit more casual, I will also go with silver. Um, but it, it just like, disagree with that with me. I'm not no, saying that- No, I actually agree with you yeah. because okay. Chanel used to be gold plating. Like yeah. I have my vintage right here and that bag is gold plated and this bag is 25 years old. So the bag is pristine, it's perfect. Hermes has also gold plating, so that's really good. But Chanel doesn't. You can always have it touched replated. up and yes. replated, so that's not, yeah. not an issue. So I'm just saying general. Yeah, that's you need to have it in mind, definitely. Yes. I yes. think it's a good point. Yeah, also the black hardware, which I think is gorgeous, super sexy. And, and the iridescent deep. ones. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. Anything fun, the silver is the way to go if you want something durable forever. There's or ruthenium. Also ruthenium. Yes. But classic flops don't really come in a ruthenium. Just on special occasions. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I think choosing the hardware color, let's say, even if you want a Delphio, if you want a silver or gold, all those topics, they go which, whichever way. It doesn't matter if it's a classic flap. We're not only limiting for classic flaps. We're just talking about Chanel in general, yeah. which you can also use that for other brands. But we're talking about Chanel because we're Chanel girls. Yeah. <laughs> I love Chanel so much. And if I were you, I would definitely go for the one that suits you the yes. most. But take into mind that silver, it's more durable. Yeah. And something else that I wanted to talk about that was not even in my list, I just wanted to say, go with what your heart wants. Don't be too influenced with what people have or maybe this certain bag that you want is not really in style. Go with what you want. I mean, this is your yeah, bag. That's it's what your I purchase. always say. Like, don't even yes. listen to us. If you already have the bag in mind, go for that and don't go asking people what they think because the only thing that matters is you what and you what want. you like. Yeah, don't rationalize too much. Really. Just go with what your heart wants. You are spending a lot of money. So you yeah. go with what your heart wants. Like for an example, the micro bags is not something that everyone loves, but it's I something... mean, it's not the most practical thing yes, either. Yeah. But it's, you like it. Right, it's not hot, like yeah. it's not like everyone posts about it, but I love it. It's my personal thing that I love it and I go for it because it's what makes my heart happy. It's the micro. So I think just going with what your heart wants is okay. You don't have to feed a care guard or try to please someone. It's what you want. Anything else that you want to add? Of... I would also add, like besides Chanel, like any other brand, example Gucci if you like a Gucci bag and you know that it's not like trendy yes. anymore don't, who cares don't follow that just yeah. go for the bag that you actually want I agree I agree yeah. with you just uh, we have to be careful social media is amazing but we also have to be careful to not lose our identity over what other people think because that's the beauty of it we're all so different and we yeah, all like exactly. different things just because I like neutrals that doesn't mean that you should you not go for like, color I agree. I agree I just have my own opinion and my own taste and I know that that's what influencers are for but I think that we should always take it with a grain of salt yes because I just feel like following just what influencers do is complicated because we have different situations and even locations and even locations yeah. like it has a lot to do yeah. with someone's lifestyle and we usually have like sponsorships and things like that so you can see a trend coming strong from influencers example right now I would say with the Valentino platform shoes I love them because I'm definitely influenced by all of my friends and people that I see on Instagram using them but that doesn't mean that I should buy them if they don't fit my style yeah. and if I see every influencer out there selling a bag because they don't like it anymore that does not mean that I need to sell it because I still like it so exactly that just follow what you like and what you do and what your future like your lifestyle and not Preaching what everyone girl. else is doing Preaching girl. Preaching. I, I just it really bothers me when people say like oh I see that everyone is selling this bag and I don't want to use it like, anymore because of the that boy. The boy. like the boy bag do not follow what everyone is doing, just do whatever fits your lifestyle and what you like. I agree so much, that was great advice and yeah, if you have any questions, if you're trying to purchase your first bag, yeah. if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If it's something directed for Lou, I'll let her know so she comments. Or if you want to ask for me or for us both, we're here to connect with you. We love having you girls here and thank you so much for watching me. Thanks so much Lou for having Of course, for, I love having you here. Yeah. I cannot wait to go have dinner. Yeah, we're gonna go have lunch now. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> We're hungry. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Leave a like button below and subscribe to also Lo's channel. If you want. Of course, I'm sure that everybody is... She's famous. <laughs> I'm not famous. <laughs> yeah, but I'm sure everybody already subscribed to your channel. Oh, so yeah, anyways, girls and boys, thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Bye. Bye.